Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Waterbox 30.2 Marine All-in-One Build. And today I'm going to show you the inside of the cabinet. I did cable management yesterday. It looks really clean and nice, but please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel because I do have another product on the way. So I'm probably going to have to rearrange what I just did but I cannot wait for this thing to come in. I'll do an unboxing for you, so please stay tuned. Like I said, subscribe to the channel, that way you can see the progress on this build. Let's get to it. All right, everyone, so this is the inside of the cabinet on the 30.2. And as you can see, I have the Marine Depot board set up against the back. The trigger systems, ATO reservoir on the right, gives me easy access so I can fill it up. Plus it gives me easy access so I can shut off equipment when I start getting fish and feeding them or if I have to do any sort of tank maintenance. I am using the trip light surge protectors with the individual shutoffs. And then it also gives me some room to store equipment and products down below. So as you can see, I have things like carbon, GFO, I have my Salifert test kit, some fish food, my flipper magnet. So it's just a really nice way to set up the inside of your cabinet to make it look clean and nice. But like I said, I do have another product on the way. I'll give you a little hint. It's gonna help me control and monitor my tank when I'm away. So please stay tuned, smash that subscribe button, like this video, and I'll be back with some more episodes. Thank you so much. You all have a great day. Bye-bye.